Not to remind you, especially you younger writers, that you can be critical of your government and your society. You don't have to fit in. It's fashionable now to take shots at Republicans and Trump and all that and avoid the Obamas and Clintons. But remember this. In the 13 wars we've started over the last 30 years, and the $14 trillion we've spent, and the hundreds of thousands of lives that have perished from this earth. Remember that it wasn't one leader, but a system, both Republican and Democrat. And call it what you will, the military, industrial, security, money, media, complex. It's a system that has been perpetuated the better that has been perpetuated under the guise that these are just wars justifiable in the name of our flag that flies so proudly over our lives. Our country has become more prosperous for many, but in the name of that wealth, we cannot justify our system as a center for the world's values when we continue to create such war and chaos in the world. Uh, no need to go through the victims, but we know we've intervened in more than 100 countries with invasions, regime change, economic chaos, or hybrid war, soft power, whatever you want to call it, it's war of some kind. In the end, it has become a system leading to the death of this planet and the extinction of us all. I fought these people who practice war most of my life. It's a tiring game, and mostly you'll get your ass kicked. And with all the criticism and the insults that you'll receive, and the flattery too, it's important to remember, if you believe in what you're saying and you can stay the course, you can make a difference. I urge you, I urge you to find a way to remain alone with yourself. Listen to your silences, not always in a writer's room. Try to find not what the crowd wants so that you can be successful, but try instead to find the true inner meaning of your life here on earth and never give up on your heart in your struggle for peace, decency, and telling the truth.